AK based Nigerian YouTuber has come under heavy fire from fellow Nigerians on social media over his recent interview with the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. The young man identified as MD Taimiyo in the interview claimed that his countrymen are not genuinely interested in education or qualification and that they, they only come to the UK to study as a means to relocate. MD, who shares relocation tips on his YouTube channel, stated that many individuals who apply for schooling in the UK see it as a way to escape Nigeria. Rather than a genuine pursuit of education, the video of MD interview with the BBC surfaced online following the introduction of new immigration rules that restrict Nigerian students and others studying in the UK from bringing their families as dependent, except under specific circumstances. Since then, the video has gone viral and attracted severe criticism from Nigerians on social media. Student thing is not really, it's not like they need the degree. They need the degree as an access route to come into the country. So a lot of these people get their priorities shifted real fast. So it's really about getting into the UK. Exactly. And they're not about the education. It's not really about the education. Tunde Amataya, a Twitter user, said, You claim to be helping people, but you also told BBC people are necessarily not travelling to study, thereby jeopardising other, chan other chances. What you insinuated to BBC and UK immigration is that people have been misrepresenting in their visa applications. Time you, you need help. Sam Amadi, this time you guy looks like one hell of a true talker. Don't kill him, he said the truth. Maybe with indiscretion, he didn't spill the bean. UK government knew before he misspoke because of our newsome presence. Uncle Sola, Nigerians were very loud though. The Indians were chopping silently for a year and cleaning mouth as they shipped themselves into the UK. But Nigerians were all over the DTL and opening YouTube channels and doing cho cho cho. It's the cho 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 that got BBC to appoint time as the poster boy for the clampdown. Malik, nothing funny in past that MED time would cost me toxin and so he did do since 100 level days. MD time we should go and ask Sangwo Olu that what it feels to get on the wrong side of Nigeria. They know they forgive and forget, then beg from today to tomorrow. Beg them from today to tomorrow. Someone will still show up at his wedding five years later and ask him, MD, why did you grant that interview? JJ or Mojua, Twitter users can be frustrating. No, Taimu didn't influence the UK government's policy. The policy has been a debate for a bit. Taimu offered the British public a solid narrative for when the policy comes into, into effect. His interview is an aftermath of the policy. Otumba, Indians migrants more than Nigeria, but when you see them on YouTube, it's always opportunities abroad they share. But the Nigerians will always complain to get keep people. Look at what that MD time would did today now because of too much talking. Pastor Who, after the social and emotional meltdown, I hope we'd be objective enough to admit there was no lie in what Taimo said. And most people are just angry and vindicated, vindictive because. The man said what should have been kept silent. Hypocrisy on steroids. And as to Green, the MD time, guys, is just a scapegoat. The UK is smarter than us. They told one of us and set, set him off for dragging. With or without time, the policy has been there. Has been here to be. The boy is just a victim of manipulation and own foolishness.